to here. All right, guys. So tonight's call, for those that don't know, my name is Abigail Poston. I'm 27 years young out here in Arizona. Um, I've been a part of the uh, I Am platform now for a few years, got started um, literally right after I had graduated from college in a situation where finances were tight and six figures deep of student loan debt at a crossroad, how to make a decision if I was going to do something different. Um, and, you know, it led me to an opportunity like this. And, and I truly believe that when you guys have an open mind, uh, you know, a hungry heart, and you're ready to, you know, to make a change, to make a decision, good things are going to happen. So tonight, guys, the, the whole purpose of tonight's call is to really help shape and give you clarity and build your belief on where you're going. And I think some of the biggest things that I'm going to talk about, and we've got a couple uh, individuals that are going to come on here in a little bit and really pour into you guys as well. Um, the whole purpose, the whole goal of the, of the call tonight is really to give you guys the, uh, the ability to understand and recognize what is in front of you, how real this opportunity is that we have. Because um, I think a lot of times, you know, through the, the thick and thin, through the day to day, through a lot of things that you guys are going to go through, um, it's kind of hard to maybe see how real this can be for you um, until you start to actually take action, until you start to plug in and, and, and tap in and be around the campfire and start to really show up and show out. So uh, purpose of tonight's call, guys, is really just to show you guys where you can go, how to really maximize your membership. And I think something that's really important uh, as well is not just the membership as a whole, but I want to give you guys the opportunity to see the, the community, the proximity that you have, the access that you have um, in a time that we're living in today. So I'm actually going to hit on three main points and I'm going to share my screen so you guys can uh, see this as well. Um, I'm going to hit on three main points tonight where you guys can see um, how you can take advantage of this. So I hope y'all are taking notes. I'm getting ready to give you guys a giveaway at the end of this as well. I will let you know, do not get off because I'm, I'm going to say the giveaway at the end. Um, we, you know how we do. Okay. Um, but I wanted to start off with this guys. Uh, I wanted to just kind of congratulate y'all for being here. Um, I know how I know that these calls, like calls like these showing up to training, showing up to zooms, maybe it's been a long day after work. Maybe, you know, you've just had uh, a heck of a month, a heck of a week, a heck of a day, whatever it is. It's so easy to maybe blow these types of things off and say, you know, it's, it's okay, I can miss this one, or, you know, this won't be that big of a training, or, you know, I'm sure they're not going to go over anything super major or important. Um, you know, whatever, whatever limiting belief is maybe blocking you from participating and showing up, it, it's very easy to, uh, to do that, okay? And so calls like these are to remind you and maybe to affirm that it's important to show up no matter what. And it's funny because we, uh, we had this conversation the other night um, shout out, you know, our, our AZ squad, we showed up and, uh, you know, we really talked about, um, a book we just read together, listened to the audio, shout out to Marin for putting that together as well. Uh, the richest man in Babylon. And, you know, we went around and had some questions and had some conversation. A lot of times what I'm trying to get to is the devil is in the details. It's, it's the things. And we actually heard this at church as well. Um, you know, the devil's in the details and it's the things that are the most subtle, the things that we don't believe are going to make that much of a difference, that big of a difference. But we don't understand that, that, that once that seed is planted, how it grows is through the compound effect, right? And it's those little things. Every time you think it's okay to not show up or okay to not do this or okay to not, not uh, you know, maybe go ghost or whatever it is, take your foot off the gas pedal, not show up to that go live, not go to that event, whatever it is, it's, it's the devil or whatever you want, however you want to look at it, um, playing you. And uh, it, it's going to try to distract you. And what was the saying they said? It was like, you know, if he can't distract you, um, he's going to use you to, uh, to end up destroying yourself. And so I'm sharing that with you guys because I want to congratulate y'all for being here tonight, not making an excuse um, to show up because showing up has half the battle. And, and I truly believe that. It's, it's once you're here, it's like going to the gym. It's like, man, I'm, I'm glad that I'm here. Once I get on that go live session, I'm like, whoo, like Kurt Cobain, like you just went in. Like, I'm so thankful I, I jumped on here. It's like getting to the event that you paid four, five, six hundred, seven hundred. Some of y'all, you know, you know, over a grand to be at, and you're like, you know, just the process of getting there, and then you're there. It's like it was worth every penny just that first speaker. Um, so I want to congratulate you guys for being here, for not uh, buying into the subtle things that you know so and so wants to wants to distract you with, wants to discourage you with, wants wants you to believe that it's not a big deal. But every time you do it, it's just like it's a compound effect, and then it becomes a habit. 
and then it becomes a way of being, and then it becomes your lifestyle, and then it becomes who you are. And then you wonder a decade from now why you're still in the same spot. Happens all the time. So um, I wanted to kind of kick it off with that and just let you know another thing as well, because I know sometimes like, it, you know, maybe maybe you have somebody that you're working with um, inside of this platform. Obviously, you know, they brought you on. Hopefully they're still here. Um, you know, if you're working with myself, like I'm still, I'm not going nowhere. Like I'm that example of stay persevering, keep showing up, keep keep doing the work, keep keep watering those seeds, keep planting those seeds. Okay, keep, keep being um, uh, relevant and consistent. If somebody is, is reaching out to you, calling you forward, inviting you to be somewhere, inviting you to show up, getting you to get involved and to tap in. I want you to recognize what is actually happening. Recognize the seed that they may be planting in you, something that they may be see, that they that they may see in you that maybe you don't see in yourself yet, okay? Um they're they're inviting you because not only do they they believe in what you can do, but they're they're actually trying to get you involved with the community because they understand that there's power in community. There's power in being around the campfire. It is very easy. Guys, this call is going to be a multiple multitude of different things, but I really want you guys to understand it is very easy to fall off, get discouraged, get depressed, get doubtful. And, and um, there's another D word. I, I forget what it is, but you guys get my point. It's so easy to get into that frame of mind when you're alone, when you're trying to do this by yourself. And this wasn't meant to be by yourself. If you literally just want to lock yourself in your room and trade, so be it. I like go, go do your thing. That's on you. But I promise you where, where the growth lies, where the fulfillment is, it's being around the campfire. And that's where you're going to be able to build your belief. That's where you're going to really stretch and be able to expand and really honestly get outside your comfort zone and get around new perspectives. Okay, life is all about how you see things. So if you're only doing things how you see it, you're always going to get what you've always got. So I'm inviting you to be present on this call, lock in for the next uh, probably 30 minutes or so, and really, really uh, soak up this information. So tonight, guys, I'm going to break down three main things. We're going to bring on two uh, special ladies that are going to share with you guys some uh, some pretty awesome stuff. Um, and then we're going to do a giveaway at the end. Okay, last, last day of March. Let's get it. Today's, today's my mom's birthday. So I'm, I'm on this call. I know she's in Maryland, but I've been trying to FaceTime her all day long, you know, be with her and things like that. So after this, you know, I'm, I'm trying to wrap up and, and go talk to her. So first things first, guys, let's take some notes. Um, the first thing I want to talk about, I'm going to go through learning the skill. OK, building your wealth. And then the last thing is developing you. And I've got some points in here that, that are I'm going to round everything out. OK, um, but learning the skill, I want, I'm going to, I've got some questions for you guys. You can write it down. They're rhetorical, but they're for you. OK, um, I want you to get very clear. Some of you guys are gonna be like, Abby, these are very simple question. It's all good. You, you, you'd be surprised um, some of the answers that I get. OK, what what academy um, are you learning from? OK, we're here for a reason, whatever that reason is for you. What academy are you learning from? OK, what educator? You've got to be very clear about what you're doing here. What are you doing here? Um, Caitlin and I, we had a call last night. It was great. And uh, we had we had said something on the call. You know, a lot of people ask about, you know, results and, you know, how fast can you see results in this, sense, this, this and that. And one of the questions I think, um, shout out to Maggie, I think she had said it to somebody at their event last night. And uh, it was something along the lines of, you know, well, what is what does a result mean to you? What, what does success mean to you? You need to define that. Because my results hit my bank account it has nothing to do with anybody other than Abby, okay? And the work that I've put in, the belief level that I've had, um, and so on and so forth, okay? What does success mean to you? What does a result look like to you? And it starts with where are you learning? Who are you plugging into? Do you have a schedule? And are you following that schedule? Do you have a plan? OK, I'm going to walk you guys through. I'm going to show you some of the academy, especially for some of you guys that are new. This is important, especially for those that are maybe helping other people that are new. This is also important that you're aware. OK, what academy are you learning from? What educators who, uh, that you're tapping into and what's the strategy that you're using? Uh, I see it oftentimes we get involved and we we either one of two things happen. You you have a membership and you don't end up really doing anything with it, which is the sad part. Um, you're not showing up, you're not tuning in, you're not plugging in, like you're, you're missing the whole part of like what this really is. Or two, you just become like this consumption zombie 
which it's great to learn, but I want to drop that out and I want to start earning. Like, but before you can do that, you have to start practicing. And, you know, we get into this trance of just plugging into the videos and the live sessions and it's great, but we get all this information and then we don't even apply it. And some of us, we get this information and then we go and apply what we want. Like we're not following what our mentors are telling us. We're cherry picking things. It's like Mike Sotero and, you know, Kurt Cobain said to do this and then we're going to do this. It's like we have dozens of different strategies on the platform and then we want to go do our own. <laughs> it's like, what, 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 why, why are we paying for the membership? Like, what are we doing? So I get it. I'm very stubborn. I like to do my thing, you know, my own way. But like I had a, you know, I was, I was humbled. I was grounded um, throughout my process. And you're going to, you know, maybe experience that in your own way. But it doesn't have to be you losing a lot of money. Uh, I, that's, that's not what this is about. The, num the number one thing that Kurt Cobain teaches on in the platform is risk management, capital preservation. Like that has become my number one focus inside of what I do here personally is my safety and security and protection of my assets. Okay. And also capital preservation. I'm not trying to lose money if I don't have to. That's why they teach on proper risk management. That's why we only risk to one to 2% of my entire account. That's not per trade. So if you have five trades in, don't be doing that. Okay. 2% each trade. Like that's 25% or no, it's like 15%, 12%. Y'all get my point. Okay. That's, that's a big no. That's, that's not what we do. So those are, those are big questions. And I'm going to share my screen with you guys, because I'm going to walk you through really quick just to document it so that those that need to see it, they can see it. Um, but you should be going through the Academy videos first. Okay. Academy videos first, the, uh, the go live sessions next, and you want to be choosing an educator. So hopefully this screen looks a little familiar to you guys. Okay. It's the IM center. Hopefully you guys have maybe logged in here a couple of times, hopefully. Um, the, the first part of this is going through the Academy. Now, if you have, uh, the Forex side or the, uh, it's HFX, but it will be tur turning into TBX time-based trading. Okay. Um, and then also ECX it's down here. You want to make sure that you go through the actual Academy videos. Okay. That's, uh, that's huge. And if you're on Forex, it's the 100, 200 series. You just go through here, all the videos that have 100s and 200s. Same thing for HFX, same thing for Ecom. For DCX, you can most definitely go through these. Um, what I think that they're doing is they're, they have put uh, the videos for the, the crypto side, beginner videos in here. You just click on videos and then you just go through this. You guys wanna make sure that you've done this first, okay? I think they're working on it. But you wanna make sure you go through this first. If not there, just go right here, okay? Once you do that, Really, guys, you want to think about being able to condense time. Um, if you want to, if you have a certain like result that you want to achieve or accomplishment that you want to create from this, everybody does. You don't want to take forever to go through this. Like, set a deadline for yourself, and it's not about rushing. It's to give yourself some work ethic. It's to give yourself some structure and a schedule to follow. Otherwise, without a deadline on your goals, it's just a witch. So. Make sure that's, that's carved out in your plan, okay? That's number one. Then what you want to do is you want to get over to go live. Now, I have all of these bookmarks, so I don't have to go in here every time. It just makes it a lot easier. Um, so I'll just go to my bookmarks and I'll click on it. But go live is really like the bread and butter of this entire platform alongside of the, the community. But this is where you want to go next. So you, you know, you got our top five featured educators. I know some of you guys uh, speak different languages, so you can go in here. Um, but then you want to click on, you know, your academy that you're using. So if it's Forex, go right here, uh, high frequency, you know, time-based trading there, Ecom, DCX. For the sake of this call, because I know a lot of you guys are doing crypto, I'm going to click on DCX real quick. And the channel guys are going to look really similar. You're going to go through, find the educator. You're going to see the times of day that they're on, the day of the week, and in the type of session that they're going to be teaching, okay? With this, um, whoever you're working with is going to be able to give you some sort of direction and guidance of maybe who you should start with, who you should be tapping into. I'll tell you right now, a great educator for the Forex side to start tapping into is Mike Navarrete. He is phenomenal. Mike Navarrete for Forex. He also teaches a little bit on crypto as well. Um, a great basics edu educator for the uh, high frequency side is um, Jay Awal. I know he's on quite a few times throughout the week. Even Millie. Millie, I know she does a little bit more advanced stuff, but I know a lot of people on the team that does the, the HFX side, they, they really enjoy her. And when we went to convention this past, uh, this past month, she was phenomenal. Like 
like hands down first like first speaker I was like in awe I was like this is how we're starting the day like all right let's go setting the tone so she's great on there J.A. Wall is great um and then on crypto I mean like your girl Corinne like she's killing it like she's I wish that I had somebody like Corinne when I first got started she's she's amazing it looks like she just had a session not too long ago uh tonight or maybe she's on right now and I just can't see it so um, she's great. And all the educators have recorded sessions. So if you miss it live, it's okay. I know we got busy schedules. You can always go back and watch the recording. But I will tell you, I love catching the live sessions. There's nothing, there's nothing better than just being there live with, you know, your educators. So um, I'm just showing you really quick. A lot of the educators will have favorited sessions. And I love that they're, a lot of them will label them. They'll, they'll make it really detailed for you, things like that. Um, and so if you're on crypto, like look for that fast start guy, okay, DCX fast start, that walkthrough, a lot of these are going to start to point you in the right direction. And what you're doing here is you're taking what you learned in the academy videos, and you're able to watch these guys, um, you know, implement it in real time. Okay, so Corinne is, uh, is amazing. You can watch her on crypto. And then I'm sure there's a bunch of different educators as well on the ECX side that will point God and direct you uh, of where you need to go. And then the last thing I was going to touch on guys for this are the strategies, okay? Um, the strategies are super important because a lot of times when people get started, they don't know what they're doing. They don't even know that, like, I know I didn't know. Uh, they're not, they don't really know where to begin when it comes to placing a trade or where to enter. That's the number one question that I used to get is, Abby, how do you know when to enter the, enter the trade? How do you know when to get in? Well, the strategies, okay, I'm gonna show you a couple right here. You can go here for Forex, HFX, DCX, and so on and so forth. If it's grayed out, like this colors one, I don't have colors. I'm, I don't personally use it. Um, but if it's grayed out, it means that you don't have access to it. If you want to have access to it, you want to log in at your I am Academy, um, I am dot Academy site, and you just log in and you can go to the shopping cart and you can adjust it. Okay. One uh, one example that I wanted to show you guys is just the scalper, and I'm not going to go into detail on this. I'm just going to give you an example. You want to make sure that you're leveraging a strategy, especially in the beginning, because this is going to help you train your eyes of what to see in the market. And even if you don't place the trade, you do want to get in the habit of placing trades, even if it's especially on your demo account, because you have to know what you're doing. You have to know what you're looking for. You have to understand your risk management. Because then when you get to your live account, you're, you're not going to have any idea or any sense of context of like what you're dealing with, especially with crypto. Like this is not a market that like you don't want to be messing around with your money. That's, that's like a big no. You don't want to do that. You want to practice. You want to, you want to be able to take, take somewhat, take somewhat of your time to really, really understand what you're doing and set up a plan for yourself. This isn't a get rich quick type of thing. This isn't, let me hurry up and, you know, make all this money so I can quit my job or not have to work a job or, you know, pay my rent that's due this month or whatever. That's not what this is. This is like long-term wealth building and promise you, like, I promise you, if you stick and stay and you learn the skill set, you'll have it forever. This is a skill that the, the same way you'll make $5 is the exact same way you'll make $50. The exact same way you'll make 500, 5,000, so on and so forth. Like it's it, numbers are infinite. Like we can play the numbers game all day long, but like, what does success mean to you? What do results mean to you? Like, what does that look like? Go define that, go get clear with that. And then it's going to be a lot easier to get to work because now you know what you're shooting for. Now you have a target. But it's difficult when you're just consuming or maybe you, you're not following a plan um, and you're not leveraging a strategy that can help you identify how and when to get into the market. And then you build on it. I use a scalper to identify and double, triple confirm when they get into trades. I'm just, I'm just going to show you this real quick. I was in this. I already fooled out. I was like, I'm good. This is like 2,000 two, two, two pips up. I moved my stop loss and I was like, yeah, we're okay. It's kind of consolidating. We're going to get out. But I set this trade because I used... Kurt, Kurt Cobain's Fibonacci strategy while also confirming it with the scalper. Like I know it's Ethereum. So it's, this is Bitcoin. Maybe it'll load for me. Um, so this was actually, if you guys were here the other night um, at our AZ meetup, this is what I was waiting for. This is what I was trying to show you guys because I was waiting for a sell. I know I think it had a potentially, yeah, it had a sell order ready, but it wasn't loading, but this is what I was waiting for. And I just confirmed it with the scalper. And, you know, I used uh, Kurt Cobain's Fib strategy. And this was like, I was like, cool, we're going to enter. This was perfect. So this, this was up like, you know, 2000 pips. And I was like, yeah, we're good. I'm like one, you know, one to four risk or reward um, on that. And uh, we're out. So like uh, one good trade a week and you're, and you're, and you're done. Sometimes like you don't have to trade all the time, but in the beginning you do, you do want to start to like really compound your, your practice trades because 
you don't know what you're looking for yet. You have to like start to build that confidence within yourself before you get on, um, before you, you start trading live. So days for this. I, I see you. I see you. So um, that's the biggest thing. So I wanted to really kick it off with that, guys, with learning the skill. You've got to understand where you're at, where you're going. Um, it's important that you understand that you can't, you can't grow anything that you're not tracking. Okay. You can't really measure anything or you can't really grow anything that you're not measuring. Um, so you definitely want to make sure you're taking those practice trades. What I like to do personally, and you know, we heard this from my personal mentor, Christian Jukes. Um, he lives out here in Arizona. You may have, you may have met him. You may have heard of him. You probably have seen him. If you've been to convention, um, he was telling us the other night on one of our calls, he was like, you want to make an effort, especially, you know, sharing this with your, with your team, um, making an effort every single day, at least when the markets are open for you, when you trade to at least just log in, log into whatever strategy you're using, log in to your educator. Okay. I make it apparent every day. I have my accountability partner. I'm not sure if she's on here, Nancy, shout out to you. You know, I've been watching my go live session on a regular basis and I've been logging into my, my scalper because that's what I'm using to confirm my entry. Um, every day, even if I'm not taking a trade and I don't have an intention to take a trade every day, but I'm at least taking a look to see what's going on in the market. <laughs> what am I looking for? And you've got to train your eyes to see what you need to see, certain patterns uh, involved with your with your strategy in order for you to make a decision if you're going to get in and out. But you don't know that until you start to do it. Everything is unfamiliar in the beginning. So shout out to you guys. Um, for those that are already doing that, if you're not, get on that right now. Make a plan for yourself and start to execute on it, okay? Set, set a schedule, stick to it, log in and practice. Okay. Um, last thing I'll say on that part is uh, Hirsch, if you guys were on the trading Tuesday, he said this, he's a crypto educator. Um, phenomenal. Uh, I love, I don't usually watch his sessions, but when I do, um, he's amazing. He gives a different perspective that you probably wouldn't hear, but he said this on the, on the, on the zoom call the other night, he was like, risk management will be the success or the death of your trading. I'll write that down. It doesn't matter your lot size. It doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter your lot size, but what I'm trying to say is all these different factors that we think about don't really matter. What actually matters is having consistency in your strategy because you can't figure out what's actually going to work until you're consistent with it. And then having risk management. Risk management will be the success or the death of your trading um, experience. Okay. So learn the skill, understand those, those factors, implement them, um, get around the campfire, ask questions. Don't be a stranger. Like this is your experience. What are you going to make of it? Okay. The second part I want to dive into, I'm going to kind of piggyback off of the book that we just read this past month. I would write it down. I would read it. This book was one of my, one of my favorites to, uh, to just really like dive into just like really let like sink, sink in with me because it was principles that you can take, um, really anywhere. And it's so, uh, relevant to what we do here, but I want to talk about building wealth for a second. Cause a lot of times we can get involved with something like this. And all we see, a lot of us, is, especially myself, I was in six figures student loan debt. You, you bet your, you know what, that I was only focused on making money and it backfired completely, okay? Um, this, is, this is so much more than just trading. So much more than that. So much deeper, so much bigger. Um, and it's actually so much bigger than just building wealth, but you have to identify what does building wealth mean? Um, building wealth that I've learned from my personal mentors that have done very, very well, not just you know, uh, on the market side, but on, on, you know, the, the leadership side, the, the, the business side. Okay. Wealth is about time. It has, it, it's less to do with money itself. Money just gives you options and flexibility and the ability to honestly, how I see it, give every time I get more money, I always think about how can I give more? How can I like, where can I put this to not only grow and appreciate, but give it to somebody that would appreciate it with, with no desire to receive anything back. So building wealth has more to do with what you can do, like your time and your freedom than anything else. Personally, that's how I see it. And that's what I've really gotten from my mentors. But I think it's important. You can't ever, you won't ever get to that level if you're not patient, if you're not following your plan, a plan, sticking to the plan. If you're constantly bouncing around, moving from one thing to the next. I get in the beginning, if you're testing things out and trying to figure out what works, what doesn't, that's fine or, you know, what, what's compatible with your personality, but you, at some point you've got to just, you got to just lock in with something and you've got to be patient with your growth. I've been listening to uh, a lot of, um, audios and, and mentors that are talking about reaping and sowing the law of seed, the law of being able to sow and reap. And I'm not going to go into that on this call. I'm definitely not a master at that topic, but I just want to touch on it for a second. 
Um, because a lot of times I think we are so focused on the reaping that we don't, we don't understand the process of sowing and watering our seeds. And where are we even planting our seeds? Are they on hard soil? Are they on soil that's ready to grow? Um, and so many different factors that go into it. And you've got to give yourself permission to have time to grow. You planted yourself inside of what we're doing here. And a lot of us are trying to reap certain results when we haven't planted enough. We haven't stayed planted enough. We haven't done the right things consistently over and over and over again to even build a result, okay? Um, but building wealth requires you to be patient. Building wealth doesn't happen in 90 days. Building wealth takes time. And I was listening to Chairman 25, Randy Webb. If you guys know Wanda and Randy, um, incredible, incredible uh, people, mentors, role models. Like he was talking about this concept, um, but it, it's it's just really fascinating. And he was saying how like most times, like people will people can only people under us or overestimate what they can do in a year and underestimate what they can do in ten years. And just imagine where you can be in five, ten years with not just learning the skill set, but who you can become in the process. Cause that's what this is really about. Not what you're doing, but who you're becoming. Okay. Um, and I want to talk about really quickly, the seven rule. I think that's how, how we said it, Marin, right? Seven rules to a lean purse. I think that's how they, how I wrote it. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to write, I'm going to say seven of them and you guys actually uh, share my screen so you can see them because probably be easier than me just uh, trying to write this down, but seven, uh, seven rules to a lean purse. Marin's in here. She correcting me. Um, <laughs> okay. So, um, this is, this is what they are. And I want to read this to you because I've actually been, since we've been reading the book and listening to it, um, I've been hearing it a lot more when I listen to some of the go live sessions. Like I just texted, um, some of like the, our Arizona squad, uh, this morning, I was listening to one of Kurt Cobain's set or maybe it was last night, Kurt, Kurt and, uh, Mike's no, it was just, it was just Cobain just his session. And he literally talked about on this, on the 15 minute section that I was listening to paying yourself first and, um, capital preservation. Okay. So number one thing that he talked about, um, in the book is pay yourself first and how I asso associate this. And I'm going to go through these briefly is for me personally. And what I've learned over the last few years is when I'm in a trade, I've been very like being more diligent about paying myself when I'm in profit. And it's not right away because I've been there where I pull out in my trade really fast and then the move just takes off. And I'm like, Abby, you're you're spot on. Like you didn't trust yourself. So giving yourself, obviously, the, the, the patience to let the trade ride out. Um, and then when it gets to a zone, you know, whatever your whatever your strategy is, take some profit off the table. So I've been I've been, you know, getting in the habit of doing that um, for myself. And then even on my on my um, when it comes to like controlling my expenses, you know, being mindful of obviously that, but being able to take a certain amount of money um, every single week. And that's what, you know, helping, um, that's what, that's what having residual income, even breaking even. You go help two people, go, go expand this community, go share this with two people and you've broken even. Tell me what other business model allows you to break even by sharing this with two people to learn how to multiply their money and be a part of a wealth building community for $175 a month. I don't understand. <laughs> it's like, it's crazy. Jason Brown, Chairman 750, DCX crypto educator. He said, I get, I literally get paid to trade. Everybody else pays for their membership. And I'm not knocking anybody. I'm just saying this is reality. Take it for what it is. This is Jason. Jason said this. Everybody else pays their membership, but I'm, I'm over here getting paid to trade. I'm over here helping people, helping other people win, creating another, another layer of income, another layer of cash flow, another layer uh, of skills and building my mindset, my perseverance, my resilience and my leadership. Okay. Um, but, but why I say that is because I'm able to now take that additional income that I didn't have and go pour into my crypto portfolio, which is booming right now. If you haven't taken a look at the market, my Solana that is up right now, Ethereum V chain. Oh my God. I got in at three cents. It's at eight pushing nine. That's crazy. Compound, like, let's go, okay? So the, the residual income helps. And being able to pay yourself first, whether it's your investments, your savings, not bills, you. And you get to decide where you put that money, okay? Multiplying your money, I mean, it's so relevant. That's what we do here, okay? Pre capital preservation, risk management, like, that's, that's the only way that you're going to be able to create um, any sort of results and success and long-term long, long -term, um, profitability here 
is if you understand this and you apply it, okay? Um, owning your home, that's just another one they talked about. I'm not really gonna talk about that right now on the call. Um, ensuring a future income, retirement, things like that. Um, we have so many opportunities to do that here. Uh, we gotta get to it. We, we've, you know, we've gotta stay focused. You've gotta stay focused. You've gotta have that, that talk with yourself, okay? Um, cause there's multiple opportunities to do it. It's just, are we going to take advantage of it? Okay. Are we making more excuses than we are executing? Cool. Seventh is increasing your ability to learn. Um, and I think how we talked about it the other night is, you know, increasing your ability to, um, learn it and get educated. I mean, we're literally at the, uh, you know, the, the hub, um, the central hub of being able to do that. Like we are literally, I, I don't know about you guys, like, how I look at what we have is like, nobody can tell me anything. Like nobody can tell me anything. I'm like, you don't even understand what we've got because this is so much bigger and deeper than the money. And once you like, you've got to be here for a little bit, you've got to show up to an event to understand that. Like, I don't think you've really, I don't think that you've really maximized and gave yourself a shot here until you get to a convention. Because then you'll really understand if this is for you or not. I promise you. I promise you. You don't really understand what we have here until you get to a convention. And there, I promise you, you'll condense so much time in your, in your effectiveness and your ability to learn um, and build that belief that you're probably missing in so many different ways. Increasing um, you know, your, your awareness is going to happen there. Okay. So those are, uh, those are a couple of things I want to just talk about. Building your wealth can come in multiple different ways here. Um, but I do highly encourage you if you haven't made the decision, if you're don't close the door on this, but I'm telling you this for you, because I understand what it's done for me. We go to church every single Sunday and I will tell everybody about it because I understand my experience that I've had there. And I don't, I don't make a, I don't make a dime off of that. I'm like, I love what I'm experiencing here. And I know what that feels like. And I want other people to experience that same thing. Why I say that is because it's the same thing here. I understand the experience that I'm having here and I want everybody else to be able to experience that. If you're coachable, if you're hungry, if you're ready to rock and roll, if you're a self-starter, if you're self-motivated, like you're ready to learn um, and put in the work to, to learn and understand a new skill set that can multiply your money and be a part of a wealth building community. Like, let's go, baby. Like, let, let's like, let's run it. Let's do this. And that's my mindset about it. So building wealth is my, is my focus. It's not let me hurry up and flip this account short term, small minded. You're out the door in 90 days. I want to see you here in five, five, 10 years. I want to see you here impacting and building yourself and becoming and discovering that person of who you really are. But you don't get there if all you're focused on is trying to flip that account. If all you're focused on is trying to pay your pay your rent at the end of the month and, you, and you've only been in for six months. You could do that. I'm not, I'm not knocking six months. I'm just saying you got to give yourself some time. Okay. Um, don't have an expiration date on your ability to grow because you don't know when you're you don't know when you're going to just, as we like to say, sprout. You don't know when you're going to blossom. All right. The last thing I'll keep it on the page. I wrote some notes so you guys can see is developing yourself. I'll turn the camera off. I'll see you guys um, is developing yourself. And I put a couple questions on here. You guys can uh, look over these as well. Um, but biggest question is, what are you doing to develop yourself? What are you doing to pour into you? What are you doing? to really sharpen um, your mindset, okay? I think that's really important that you are aware of that because there's so many things that are gonna distract you. There's so many things that are gonna pull your focus and discourage you and, dis and depress you and all these other things um, in the world today. I mean, just open up your phone, turn on the news, like talk to somebody that doesn't have a plan for their future, doesn't have a vision, without a vision to people what? perish so many people are so negative negative minded um it's so easy to get caught up into that and so every single morning for me personally i have a plan of for me i have my gratitude i have my prayer that i that i go over and i read and i write down my goals and i've been listening to um christian uh, said this the other night so i started to listen to it this week just a three minute video that bob proctor has on building my self-image because i'm being very aware of how, like the areas that i need to work on and I'm like, Abby, you need to develop your self-image and how you see yourself. Because a lot of times that's what's holding you back. I let other things, situations, people deter me and how I see Abby. And I know, like, I know whose I am. Does that make sense? Okay. And I get so caught up 
in the, the earthly things of this world. And I allow that to throw me off. So I've been going to work on me and I encourage you to do the same. Go live is great. The education is, um, is amazing. These trainings, these, you know, these Zoom calls that we have throughout the week are only there for value for you. It's up to you to decide to, to, to show up, okay? But I do make an effort every single day to pour into me because I'm important. And I know that I know the example that I have for other people and you do too, okay? Um, what are you doing to build an abundant mindset? A lot of us get involved and we have that scarcity mind mentality. And that's why most people are out the door in 90 days, six months. Don't make it to that first, that, their first convention. Um, and, and it's sad to see because I'm like, I saw, I saw so much potential in you. Um, and it's, and it's, it's sad when they don't see it, but you see it. And I don't want that to happen to you. So you have to, you have to have a, a schedule around how you're going to build an abundant mindset. And I encourage you to continue to show up. Um, and I'm going to say it again, get to your first convention. Okay. I already talked about this. What's easy you planning? What are you sewing? And then I wanted to just, uh, kind of leave it off with this and then we'll bring up, um, our two guests to speak tonight. Um, something that I, that I listened to today, I want to just briefly, briefly share it with you guys, um, is building character. <laughs> I think a lot of times, um, we, a lot of us will quit or take our foot off the gas or let up or go ghost. You guys hear me say this a lot. Um, especially if you work with me closely, I'll, I'll talk about this, but a lot of us will do that. Like we keep stopping and starting, stopping and starting. And it's like, we never really get anywhere. And we don't understand that we sometimes do that. Like we quit or we, we take our foot off the gas or whatever, right, right at the point that your character is being built. And we don't recognize that that is the, that's like the moment where you're breaking yourself down in a way, but how do we build, you all see my bicep, talk to me. I talked to somebody about this the other day. I'm just kidding. But like you, you build your muscle based on breaking it down first to build it back up stronger. But if we keep quitting when the, when the going gets tough, if we keep folding when things don't go our way or unexpected, or this is too hard, of course it's hard. You've never done this before. It's all good. Like great. Like you don't, you don't achieve, you don't achieve greatness. You don't do good things, big things. If, if it's all easy, everybody would do it. Okay. Am, am I willing to do whatever it takes? Am, you know, am I willing to evolve um, and persevere or am I going to fold every time something, you know, gets hard, like you gotta have those conversations and it may sound super cliche and whatever, but it's the truth. And, um, the only way that you're going to really see what you want to see out of this is if you make a decision, uh, to really, you know, go all in, um, and, and do what you got to do here, not just to maximize the membership. Like that's, that's important, but like, I I'm talking about the community. I'm talking about like, we have an opportunity to be a part of a wealth building community, $175 a month to get access, proximity. Like if you really tap into the platform, I get excited every single time I, I show up to a go live session. I'm like, people don't even know what they're missing. People don't even know. Like you can't afford to, to, to not plug in. Like you, I feel, I feel like I'm, I feel like, I feel like I'm on top of the world. Like I want to re-sign up every time I jump on a go live session. Try it. Try jumping on a go live session every single week with somebody like Cobain or Mike Navarrete or J. A. Wall. So, guys, that is uh, that is my part for this call. I really wanted to go through those things and just just paint a just paint a bigger vision. Just be able to build your belief, hopefully in some way, shape, or form, that you're in the right place at the right time with the right people. You just got to make a decision of what you're going to do, and don't keep letting up because every time you do, like you're missing the whole point of being able to grow and focusing on who you're becoming, it's less about what you're doing and more about what you're be or who you're becoming. Okay. Um, so guys, if you are, uh, if you are ready to, to rock and roll, I'm going to go ahead. And, uh, what I'm going to do tonight, guys, um, drop some sevens in the chat. If you're still here, if you're still with it, you got some value so far. Um, I've got a few questions kind of like if you're on the call that we did last month. Um, few questions as before, I've got like two or three that I'm going to ask, uh, both of them. And uh, really the whole point of this is I, I chose these individuals because um, they've been consistent. They've been hungry. They've been showing up. The biggest thing is they don't make excuses. Like, and I don't mean to bring up people that are low maintenance all the time. Like you can be high maintenance, but high reward too. And what I mean by that is you just, you just go to work. Like you just put in the work and you may have a lot of questions and I'll help you or whatever, but like you just make it happen. You don't make excuses. Okay. These individuals have done that. 
um, and are doing that. And I'm so, I'm so proud of them. And I'm so excited for not only what they've done and who they've become so far, but their excitement and focus and vision for where they're going um, and the example that they're leading and their consistency. And I love to personally, and you should too, work with people that are hungry and, and, and a self starter and self-motivated and, you know, things like that. So I want to give it up to them. Um, Marin and Angie both have been uh, just, just on fire, just crushing it. And I'm, I'm super excited for you guys. I'm going to kind of maybe go back and forth. Um, if uh, Marin, if you're, if you want to kick us off, um, just maybe if you could share, I just said your name, but you know, name, how long you've been a part of, uh, of the platform. Um, and the other question is, what are you, what are you using right now? Who are you watching strategy, things like that? Okay. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Abby, so much. Um, this call is fantastic. Um, like she said, my name's Marin. I've been a part of this platform for almost two years now. Uh, my two years will be in the summer. I'm super excited. You know, I have been plugging in with Mike Sotero, Kurt Cobain, um, been utilizing those Fibonacci's. If you know, you know. Um, and then also the scalper for sure. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We'll maybe go back and forth. We'll do a little, you know, break here and there. All right. Um, Angie, if you want to maybe share the same name, how long you maybe been in and then uh, what you've been tapping into on the platform. Wait, wait. Angie, you're muted. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> Sorry, my work. Sorry, this is like the story of my life at work. I'm like triple muted. So, um, no, my, my name is Angie, Angela, and um, actually, I'm I'm a newbie. So I've only been with um, I am for maybe three months or so. Um, so, but I've been um, hanging out with AZ Crew before I even signed up. So I think that you know it was definitely a. I had to like just jump in, figure out like where my place was. And, um, but overall I just jumped in and took some action and signed up with I am, um, currently right now. Um, did you ask me like what I'm using and all that? Yeah. Um, scalper, 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 <laughs> um, copy paste is giving you, we all went to school, right? We know how to copy paste. Um, definitely utilize that. And then Corinne, Corinne, my go live. She's my girl. Um, newbie. She is good. Kind of what Abby said. She's a good person to um, connect with, watch her go lives. She breaks it down. Nick has some boot camps that are awesome. Um, so I just been, yeah, just watching those go lives, take notes, go back to the notes and um, kick it off with that. Let's go. I love it. I love it. All right, I'll pass it back to Marin. These were a lot of really good questions and I've been trying to figure out who I'm gonna ask who, what I'm gonna ask, cause there's a few, but I'm not gonna ask all of them. Um, so Marin, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to ask you, we'll, we'll, we'll do this cause you've been in for, for a little bit now. Um, if you could go, if you could tell yourself when you first got started one piece of advice that you know now, uh, what would that be? Oh man, just one. Okay. I'm just kidding. Um, honestly, just do it. Like just take action. I don't care if it's baby step steps, um, or just doing like one new thing a day, just do it. Um, the more you procrastinate, the more you hinder your growth, the more you stop believing in yourself, um, the more you revert back to habits. So with action, it just takes you further, no matter like how long it'll take you. Just action is literally your best friend. Execution. I love it, girl. Yeah, it's so true. A lot of times we can like get started and then we don't do anything. <laughs> or we look at everything and it's like, all right, I'm not going to do anything at all. So yeah, that's, that's good. You just got to find your way. Um, and you will as you keep plugging in. So Angie, Great question since you said you're kind of, you know, three monitors muted right now. Um, how have you balanced your home life work while also learning and doing this? Yeah, no, that's a good question. So honestly, um, 
I think balance is definitely important. And I feel like since we started the accountability, my balance has been so on point. So my girl Marin is my accountability partner. Um, we've been killing it. Uh, so it definitely just to kind of shorten it up. Um, I do have a nine to five. It's a very high demand job. I work for the hospital. I'm in the medical field. Um, but in when I get off work, I'm dead. But um, keeping that accountability and making it simple and putting those tasks and goals down on the paper and just um, taking action and getting them done. If that is taking some time right before bed, or if it's taking time to wake up early and get it done, you get it done. Um, so that balance has helped me tremendously than just spiraling out of control and being all over the place and um, staying up super late just to get something in when it could have been done like first thing in the morning. So um, that's my balance and that's what saved me in the last like few months um, from the beginning to where I've and I we just started this what a few months or few weeks now and it's definitely been showing showing the showing the work so no nah, that's good yeah I think sometimes like we can just like like a work or whatever super overwhelming or whatever the case is we will put this on the back burner and it's like you don't understand this is what's this is your saving grace this is what's going to help you like get to a position that you want. So having that schedule and creating those, those core, those core things that you do every day, those non-negotiables, <clears throat> super important. And I love that you guys are, it's funny because I chose y'all. And then Alex was like, they're accountability partners. Have them talk about it. And I was like, you're right. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, love to hear it. All right, Marin, I got a question for you. Um, okay. Did I ask you this? No, I didn't. Um, okay. I'm gonna ask you this one. This is good. Okay. If someone here is, or is going to watch the recording, someone here, um, is going through some sort of doubt, pain, maybe even considering to quit. Uh, what is your advice to them based on what you've experienced so far? Oh man, this is a good question. Um, cause I've gone through doubt, pain, and even quit. Um, so I understand how you guys are feeling. So honestly, like just think that you're bigger than your thoughts. Um, I know we all go through things. We all like are really hard on ourselves, but you're bigger than your thoughts. Um, and just think about what's on the other side of getting through it because it's so much better. It's amazing. Um, you know, it's, you need to find your why, your purpose. If you haven't, like just dig deep. And that's what I think about every single day. And that's what helps me get, get through everything. So that's my advice is just remember your why. Yeah. No, that's, that's huge. Um, you have to know why you're here. You have to know, kind of have an idea of like where you want to go. That's the biggest thing. And um, knowing, I think also knowing like it's inevitable for you to feel those things. It's not like they're going to go away. It's like acknowledging them. It's like, okay, yeah, everybody feels that. What are you going to do about it? And let's keep it moving. Like it, what, what's the saying is like, uh, if you're in hell, why would you stop in hell? Keep going. So you're going to get through it. It's a learning curve. It's all, you know, it's all good. And you have a, you have amazing people that, that you can fall back on. You're in this for yourself and never by yourself. I love what you said, Marin. Um, all right, Angie, I got a question for you. What would you say to the newest person since you've been about, you know, a few months in, um, what would you say to the newest person that maybe just got started Then they're looking at everything and they're like, oh, wow, this is a lot. You know, this could be a little overwhelming because I know I've had those texts from everyone. What would you say to that? Yeah, no, um, I'm mean, living in it. I'm, I was there. So I would just say, yes, it's definitely um, overwhelming. Just know it's normal. Um, but I would say, keep it simple. The more you keep it simple, the better it will be. Um, go in with the academy and know what academy that you're focused on. Stay focused with that academy. Understand the skill, learn the skill. And I would say, keep it simple, be disciplined. Um, you need accountability. Like I said, I started doing mine. Mine are simple. Make it simple. 
everything could be simple. Just I do a go live in a day. I go into my trading view once a day. I chart up some stuff and my goal is to get into uh, Meta Trader 4 and start trading um, when it's ripe. And then when time comes, um, you know, you kind of squeeze and tighten up your trading and stuff like that, but dive in, but be just be simple, like make it simple, be disciplined, accountability, and have fun with it for sure. However, there's the fun part too, though. So have fun with it. Um, you'll learn a skill, like we're learning a skill. Um, and not only do you learn the skill, but what I've learned um, is that the physical piece. So make sure you're staying healthy, exercise, diet, like I am Academy doesn't just teach you this stuff. It teaches you to like, yeah, like stay healthy, exercise, spiritual piece of it. It could be just personal development, reading the books, um, going to church, uh, just kind of going into that piece of it as well. And then work, bring in your work ethic. I know y'all got it. So just bring your work ethic in routine, discipline, and have fun. Um, my academy gives you all the tools you need um, to build yourself a business. So just execute and um, be consistent and you'll kill it. Oh, I, I see you. I love it. Yeah. Um, a lot of people will come in overwhelmed, but like Angie said, um, everything is right there for you. Give yourself time, give yourself the, the ability to be patient and uh, it'll, it'll work. It, it'll work itself out. Um, all right. Last question for both y'all. And then we'll get to the giveaway um for tonight so marin last question for you why do you because i know in the beginning where you were at i didn't even know what you were thinking when i first met you but when you first got started to now why do you why did you choose why do you choose to do both and what i mean by both is obviously learn the skill that's why we're here build your build your sense of understanding in the markets um but why do you also choose to share this with people why do you choose to build the business build your leadership Okay, um, so I choose to do both because, you know, learning the skill set, it's, it's going to help generations, not just me, I'm going to be able to pass it down to my future family and my friends. And, you know, it's a skill set that not everybody has right now. And that's going to lead into why I build is like, you we have the opportunity to share it with people and why would be why would we be selfish not to share it with people? Um, you know, it can help their families. It can help people all across the world. And, you know, it's, it's better if we're all, you know, sharing the same goals or same community and, you know, we're better together, you know, so. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. It's, uh, it's like you have one, you have the other. It's kind of like how we go to church. Um, I'm like, if you go, you understand the power of it. It's like, you're experiencing it. And now you have the ability to share it with other people. Um, there's power in that. And you can create another layer of cash flow, which is nice. Um, all right, Angie, last question for you, girl. Um, you just went to your first convention. You actually bought your ticket at the previous convention maybe was second guessing going, had a great time while you were there, had a great time leaving convention. Like talk to us about um, why events are so important and being plugged in is important to you. Yeah, um, I honestly, yeah, those conventions, it's just the vibe. Like it brings in um, all the educators are coming in, they're talking about, um, their experiences, uh, you get a little bit of like, you know, the inside of trading, but the vibe that brings in, in the community, that whole stadium is full. There's like hype. Um, it's very powerful. Um, I would have to say, I'm going to, um, my, there was a woman's panel, um, at this convention and that woman panel, I mean, it was very powerful. Um, a lot of feedback and, um, so, I mean, the conventions kind of a personal thing, but honestly, that's what triggered me at another, um, convention. It was a little bit smaller, but, um, that's what triggered me to actually buy the I am Academy. Like I was actually at the convention and I bought it, um, like went in and logged in and went in. Um, it's very, very powerful. The 
just the vibe, like I said, in the community that you're with, there's, there's more than just trading. And I just want you guys to all know that. So if anybody is on the call right now, that is kind of new or just like eh, starting, um, hit the, go to the conventions, go to any, even the local ones if you're an easy, um, they're, they're, they hit different. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> yeah, no, a hundred percent. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like going to a concert. If you've ever been to like one of your favorite concerts before, can't really describe it. It's like, you just got to go, my guy. Like, sis, you just got to be there. I um, was like jumping around, just doing one of these. And I'm like looking around like, what is that? Like, all right. <laughs> everybody. Yeah. No, it's good. You'll probably see, you know, different sides of everybody. Yeah. And networking and just meeting tons of people from all over the world. So it's, it's, it's awesome. So. Heck yeah. Let's go. Let's go. And for those that don't know, the uh, the next convention is in Arizona, which is crazy. We've never had a convention here. Um, let's let's do this because we're about to do the, the giveaway. Actually, really quick. I want to give it back to you guys, Marin, um, Angie. I really appreciate y'all for stepping up, for pouring in, for um, just, just sharing some value, sharing some perspective tonight. Because I know some of the stuff that you said, um, somebody needs to, to hear it. What's up? I want to do a shout out to Marin. Marin, you are killing it on prospects, girl. Like, keep it up. She's she's not going to say anything. She's going to, you know, so, but she, I see it. She sends it to me every day and she needs kudos and she needs to be known that she's out there prospecting and doing the work. So that's all. <laughs> Dang, girl. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, drop some sevens in the chat for your girls. Um, guys, I appreciate y'all for stepping up. Seriously. Um, you guys poured in a, a lot of value and hopefully you guys got something that you needed to hear, maybe some perspective that you can go out and apply. So guys, without further ado, maybe some of you guys are on this call because you knew that there was a giveaway. You knew what happened last time. And you're like, I want a piece of that pie. Um, so tonight we're going to do another, another giveaway and I'm going to, I'm going to break down how this is going to work. I, um, yeah, we'll record it. We'll leave it on. It's always nice to go back and watch everybody's reaction. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do one giveaway tonight. And actually for the month of April, we're going to, I think we're going to do two giveaways. So let me, let me lead into the story. I, so tonight's giveaway, here's, here's the caveat. Don't jump off, but here's the caveat. I, um, tonight's giveaway are for those that have already bought their convention ticket. Okay. I didn't want to tell anybody that this is how I was going to do it because then nobody would have probably shown up. I'm just kidding. Only the people that have bought their convention ticket would have showed up, but you would have missed the value. I want to reward those that have taken action. I want to reward those. If you're, if you haven't gotten your, if you haven't got your convention ticket, you're still listening. You probably have like two minutes. You could go buy it real quick and you can be a part of the, the giveaway. But what I'm saying is I want to reward those that have taken action. You know, you got to get to convention you know you're going to get your ticket. And I'm not just saying this to say this. I've been to dozens, probably nearly 100 different like events slash conventions for the last few years. I can't describe it to you. It's like getting a haircut over the phone. You don't do that. You got to be there, okay? And if you, anytime, like, here, here's what I'll say. And I said this earlier. If you know, like, if you know you're going to be here in six months, go get your ticket. You have to pay the price in some way, shape, or form. If you want what you say you want, there is some price that needs to be paid. And if you understand the promise, the price doesn't matter. You're going to go pay it anyways. So I encourage you, if you haven't already, you don't got to hurry up and slide, you know, in, uh, in my DMs. Abby, I got my ticket. Cool, you can do that. Or I'll add you to the list. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a, a giveaway for those that, um, that have gotten their ticket. And next month, I'm, I'm going to do another giveaway. Um, next month, I'm going to talk about it after, um, actually I'll say it right now. So next month I'm going to do a giveaway for, again, everyone that has their convention ticket. And then I'm going to do a special giveaway. And this is going to be a big one. It's not going to be, oh, I'm sending you this. It's going to be a big one for those that have already bought their flight. Now, if you live in Arizona, I'm going to do something a little different. You can be added to it, whatever. But those that have already bought their flight, that's a big deal. I will tell you this last convention, the reason why most people didn't go, because we had over 45 people that were supposed to go um, to convention, most people didn't go because they didn't prepare. They didn't properly prepare. They didn't get their, they didn't get their flight. They didn't get what their whatever. You are more likely to go when you have those things secured. And I'm only sharing this with you because I understand what this has done for me. Okay. 
Um, I'm trying to stretch you. I'm trying to pull you. I'm trying to get you outside your comfort zone. And if you feel some type of way, that's good. I'm trying to call you forward. Okay. Get around people that want to see you at your best self. And I promise you this convention will do that. So I'm going to share my screen um, with you guys. If you could be honest, just type a type a three in the chat. If you have your convention ticket and stay on, cause I've, I've got something that I want to share with you guys at the end. Okay. All right, let me see here. By the way, I, I never really actually say what I'm going to give away. I always forget. Um, but I'm going to give away uh, tonight. Oh, my God. What am I doing? <laughs> All right. Alex, Marin, Orlando. Shout out, Orlando. You just bought your ticket, bro. Super, super proud of you. I'm excited to see you again. Uh, am I missing anybody? Oh, Eric, man, hopefully everybody is on here. All right, Alex, Marine, Orlando, Jacques, Sam, Eric, Diane. Caitlin, I know you're on here. Caitlin has her ticket. All right, so look guys, I know we all gotta get our tickets. It's done, you know it. Lorenzo, you have your ticket, don't you? Did you type a three? Did I miss you? You don't want any Solana? <laughs> <laughs> I got you, bro. Wait, what happened? Maggie and Enrique just bought their tickets. Oh, shit. I, I see you. All right, I love to see it, y'all. I heard, uh, I heard M Michigan showing up, showing out to convention. Oh, my God. Lazaro, you're on the list, too. You going to type a three? I know you got your ticket. Let me go back down here. Lazaro got his ticket literally the next day he got started or whatever it was. I was like, all right, my guy, let's go. Yes, don't be shy. Don't be shy, it's okay. All right, did we get everyone? All right, y'all Y'all know what to do. Go get your ticket. Um, next, uh, next, next one's going to be good. You guys are like, all right, Abby, hurry up and do this. All right, let's, uh, let's go. So I'm gonna shuffle these up. And, um, so winner's going to get a whole Solana. Please send me a screenshot and the link of the, of your, of your, um, of your wallet address. I don't want, I don't want this to be sent out nowhere else. Okay. All right. Ready? We'll forget this. Three, two. One, go. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Sam, are we going to have some redemption? Is this redemption? <laughs> oh my God. For those that don't know, uh, Sam won last time and he won the Solana. Oh my God. All right, Sam, you won. Wait, did Enrique win? Or did I click that again? No, I clicked it again. I'm sorry, Sam won. You're right. I don't know what I'm talking about. We're going to end the recording. You guys, it's too.